So let's say you are doing it all and you're looking at the different buckets and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, well, honestly, I hate sales. I, I sales, I just feel uncomfortable. It puts me on the spot, etc. But I really, really love project fulfillment. Well, does that mean that you should go out and hire a salesperson when you don't really know anything or have any systems and structures around that sales role? No, but if sales is already super challenging for you, then maybe a good start is that kind of lower level move to help generate leads in the sense of maybe they're building you a list or doing some internet research or finding you those conferences, the virtual conferences or something that are the people in your audience. And I find that when you can kind of delegate that kind of stuff to somebody and then look at it again, that's an example of the bucket model where you're not just totally taking that bucket off your plate, but you've identified that that's kind of the problem area, the stress area, and you put it off, put it off, put it off. And quite often there's kind of a linchpin action in there where it's like, this is the block. This is where there's friction. If I can have someone come in and just remove that block or remove that friction, things will be so much easier. Like there is a message on, I bought something off. This is just a personal example. I bought something off of Etsy and it was custom and it was messed up. And I felt so just like exhausted with screens and exhausted to like talk about it. It was supposed to be a gift and com basically complain and be like, hey, I know it's custom, but you messed up, etc." Mm -hmm. Well, when I dug into it, I realized that the friction point there was actually like looking at my phone and reading the message, <laughs> you know, because I felt so anxious about what am I going to say? What's he going to say in return, etc. So in the end, I literally just got my, I saw that like I had a notification. I gave it to my partner and he picked it up and opened it and read it to me. And we started talking about a response. And then I was like, all right, give me that. And I wrote the response myself. So mm -hmm. that's just what I mean by like a friction point or a linchpin is that it's not that there's one perfect role. Uh, or one perfect place to start, or even one perfect process to follow, but that if you get, get into the habit, because you're gonna, probably gonna have to hire more than once, right? And you're probably not gonna get it perfect the first time, of critically thinking around it, asking yourself these questions, you know, what system needs to be in place? How valuable is this position or this role or this task? You know, um, what needs to happen for this to come off my plate? that's really where I think the true value is because that will carry you forward through all of your hires, not just the first one. That's such a great answer to that question. I, I really, really like that you're coming back time and time again to this skill set of being able to ask yourself the hard questions, being able to critically yeah. think about a situation. I think that's so much more beneficial than trying to create a cut and paste formula for someone to follow on hiring because each business is so different. Your, your unique, so different, and strength, <laughs> right. Are, are different and, and your needs are different. And so I, I think that that's such a great way to approach it.